going out for a bit. Good afternoon everyone. <clears throat> Hope you're all good. Welcome again to just going out for a bit. Something a little bit different today. What we're doing is going on a walk. I'm in the area of outstanding natural beauty Cotswolds, Gloucestershire area. I'm in a place called Slad and I'm here to do a five mile walk. <clears throat> Weather's good. Not too hot, not too cold. Big golly locks. It's going to be absolutely perfect. So, why am I in Slad of all places? Slad, a tiny village just outside Stride. I'm here. In the footsteps of Laurie Lee. You may have heard it before with regards Side of a Rosie and another other few books which we're going to go and talk about as we do the five miles in today um oh, he was born in 1914 died in 97. i need to think back in 1914 what this person from a nondescript background went on to achieve is amazing really. Um, it's going to be a good day, we're going to see some beautiful scenery apparently. I've not done the walk before but I've, I've been told it's good. Now for all you walkers out there I'm on Ordnance Survey 179 Gloucester Chatham and Stride. Just that one there. I say that because you can download the walk from the Wildlife Trust, Gloucestershire, the Lorry Lee Wildlife Way. Um, they give you a small printout you can print out here. just here on the back something else the map itself it's rather hard to decipher with my ancient eyes so what I've done I've just photocopied the um, relevant map from there I can put it in my pocket nice and small it's all going to be good Right, so five miles, and we're going to end the um, walk outside the wool pack um, and Laurie Lee's grave, which is in the local church cemetery. Okay, what we're going to be doing along the way I'll repeat that again. What we're going to be doing along the way is have a little bite to eat and a little drink along the way with some equipment which you can pick up for next to nothing. Again, as you might have found out from my previous videos, I'm not into high end stuff, I'm into trying things out budget level. And just giving it a go and going out. So we'll talk about that later on as and when Tommy demands it. Right, speak to you in a bit. Stand by for some more. So today we've got five months as we said. Along the way we're going through four nature reserves and they are going to be six, in fact if my memory serves me right, of these posts. Cedarwood posts. All with one of his poems on.
on the map. Okay, here's the map, what you've got. What we're doing, we're starting at Bull's Cross today. Big parking area, you can park a car. Um, doing this route, basically. Or countryside area until we get to the bottom here of Slad itself and visit the wall pack that's down there. Right, let's be off. Right, so on the walk, let's try and have some context about Mr. Laurie Lee. Slad is a tiny village in a very rural county. Growing up, Slad is no cosmopolitan area. It's as, as it comes. And in 1914, in the 20s, growing up, the world would have been very, very big in stride. Even further away in Gloucester, Gloucester would have been massive. So, Laurie Lee, growing up, single parent of, in, in a single parent family, lots of sisters, brothers, and he's been brought up. You know, he's, he's not, as he would, would have told you, he wouldn't be the brightest tool in the box. He didn't pass the 11 plus, whereas his brother did. And went also went on to bigger things. And when he was growing up, he first, well, he first became prominent in that 1959 when he published a book called Cider of Rosie which has been known to many people after doing GCSE or CSE exams here in the UK. Excuse me a second, a little bit steep, I don't four ass over tip, talking to you on camera. So he became famous for that and the whole folklore about this area would have taken off and I'm just in the footsteps of where he grew up. Now, Growing up, at 13 years of age, he found himself at a Trotskyist commune. And at that time, that would have been akin to um, Red Russia at the time, completely different novel ideas. And while he was there, um, he met a girl called something Rogers, I'll get it for you in a bit. And um, she was exotic as they come. Being as, probably still today, she came from Buenos Aires in Argentina and came to live quite close to here. Why does that make a lot of difference to the story? Well, at the age of 19, he decided to walk from here to London, I think to Southampton eventually, and make his way to Spain because he knew a few words of Spanish after having a romantic interlude with Miss Rogers. Um, and that's a massive step. No, to people to do it now, it's a massive step to do it back then. And how he kept himself going, obviously, he had no ways of sport himself apart from playing the fiddle and so he went to Spain played the fiddle and then got caught up in the Spanish Civil War where like many young men of his time he decided to fight the, just the fight against fascism and therefore his connection with the Iberian Peninsula of Spain goes very very deep two books and as I walked out one midsummer's morning, he does this, and then a moment of war talks about his time during the International Brigade in Spain. There's also another another book which he wrote regarding, I think, Rose for Winter. I think regarding his visit in 1955 with his with his daughter or wife at the time. So. This is all rather nice.
thank you. Have a little breather. Yes, and I'll do a little video as well if you don't mind. Oh yeah, what are you doing? Time for, um, have a little brew up, that's all. Oh what? Yeah, you want to put some coffee? No, 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 you're alright, no, no. <laughs> A little um, oh, yeah, is that okay with you? Yeah, yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah. This is the lorry leeway, isn't it? Nice long hop. Yeah, I don't think this is the lorry lee. No. I think which, which way did you come? We did it sea farm up the up the path there. Yeah, it might go this way. Yeah. I thought it went straight down the valley then. Your eyes are a bit longer than mine. So, crossroads. That's it, yeah. Don't go left handed. Go left. Go left. And there's two, there's two brick walls, like stone walls, that go up to your left. And then. 20 yards up, there's a right, and they've just put electric fence in there for the cows, and you walk underneath that, and that takes you, that's the brook all along, back to Snow Farm here, and it goes away. Okie dokie. Right, that's all right, I'll do the coffee. Yeah. Thank you. Would you just film that on YouTube or something? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you like it, or you just set off? I wouldn't back it. Oh. Thank you, Dr. Mark. That's just my doing. So, we're done with this, we'll do the, um, the walk, the five mile walk, yeah. a cup of coffee, a cup of coffee and somewhere else we'll make some um, back to sort of curry. Mm. Mm. Just trying to use the um, people to try to keep together sort of things online. Yeah. This is an instruction for people to actually get up to rather than spend 50 to 100 quid on some juicy clips. Photograph to say hello. Yeah. No, I'll let you get on. Thanks very much. Okay, that's gonna cook away. Get myself. One of these. Leave them in a bit to wash the cup.
little bit of a stir. That was three minutes. Not bad, you know, for what is 1940s technology. Um, obviously, the BCB is quite, it's quite new, relatively. Before then, you would have had hexamine thing, hexamine burner. Hot to the touch, so I'll pick it up. But, um, the fire dragon, when it's in there, just burns, doesn't smell like the hexman burners used to smell. Um, it doesn't leave out any, any anything there, it's like a little a powdery, plasticky sort of bit of juice which you can really flick off with your knife. Dead easy. And all along, if you're, if you're a beginner, all you're going to need, really, you don't need to, to go and spend too much money because it all does the same. It all does the same. You can, you can I was able to pack a whole, a whole meal in there, you know, three sachets of um, coffee. You can do that. And also at the same time, I could put more stuff in there, like a jam packet full of stuff. On the carry itself at the bottom I've got something to wash it all up with it carries my nice little fire equipment. It's a good trainer really. Uh, right, I'm off to have my coffee. So um sit back and find out I've gone to the wrong place. Oh well. At least that's good. Right, let's do this. British Army mess tins. These things have been around since the Second World War, if not way, way before that. Can't go wrong. You know, we've, we've used them in the British Army. Um, Commonwealth Armies have got, got, got the same with Australia, New Zealand. And so many more have just used this. Um, it's like aluminium. One. Packs into the other. You put hot water on there. There's your container, there's your top. Okay. Easy peasy. So. You can pick these things up, car boot sales, charity shops, great uncle Bulgaria's cupboard. These are absolutely everywhere. You can pick them up, brand new, pick them up second hand, um, pick them up with a, with a non-stick coating. It's all over the place. Very good. That's the port. That any day easily. See the hole in the middle, the container. This ethanol burning fire dragon BCB. Go in there about three to four minutes of heat, and it will make it nice and warm. Carrying the space for three. One in the middle. One there, and another one, you don't need it. Very good piece of kit indeed. So, what we're going to cook. We are cooking Singapore style curry.
with chicken, with onion, with some jack of the hedge. And it'd be a crime not to use wild garlic. Right, I'm just going to prepare and uh, we'll see you in a second. Right, here we go. That's lit. Boom. No messing around. Get the chicken. Cooking away as you can see. Brown off. Mm, like I said. With the wild garlic. To the jack of the hedge. Fill that about a bit. These tablets normally burn for about three minutes. I've got two tablets, I've got a few more. Look at that. See? Lovely. Just gonna brown this off, then put a little bit of water in there. Then add some of the Singapore noodles. 
sorry. As you can see, it sort of liquefies and does all sorts of weird things. It's got some sort of film over there. But that's good, eh? This set I got from a trap online on Marketplace. It came with a brand new BCB cooker thing already in there. About six tablets he gave me, um, along with. matches, wolfing matches, one of these containers, it's square, it fits and everything, it's, it's, it's handy as anything, you know, you're going to go a long way to try to destroy these things, I think I picked up for £15, so, I did say I would give his name out because the bargain he does is very good. I'm going to get myself another. Not, not too long there. Right, white turns into a sort of a chunky soup. Give us a few minutes and I'll do the finishing touches and there we go. Hey, here we go. Noodles are on. Now, doesn't that not look appetizing? It's quite nice. <clears throat> I don't think I'm going to win Master Chef this year, I'll tell you that. Right. Good on there. Wait for three minutes and um, let's see what turns out. <clears throat> right. I think we're finally done. Taste test. Chicken. Mm. Tender and cooked all the way through. Mm. Noodles. Soft. Red onions. Mm. I'll take it to soft. Perfect. No. Perfect. Mm. 
<clears throat> PCB overall pretty good bearing in mind again each of these gives you about three minutes and three minutes is uh, enough to get you a cup of coffee so to do that it's not considerably more than just one or two but um overall pleased with the meal pleased with this <coughs> um pleased with the with the mess tins i think i've got to say this about the first time i used mess tins for about 30 years or so so yeah no it's a, you can it's a, get into going out cooking outdoors having a, having a brew having a bit of food while you're out to pick you up all very good all very good okay thoughts so far it's very hot nice and spicy there on the um lorry lee nature walk so far to be fair it's hard work the maps are crisscrossed with all sorts of wrong not wrong but hard to read footpaths and it's a lot of lot of hill climbing um it says about five hours to get through five miles and I, I scoffed at that, but yeah, I can well believe it now. But um, yeah, we're just about approaching the village of Slad on the other side of the valley now. Um, so I'm going to crack on with that in a minute. After this, of course, I'm cleaned up. But yeah, good. Ah. The name of the chap I got it from was a, a Wayne Dennett, D-E-N-N-E-T-T, -T. and he was on Facebook Marketplace. So I've got all this stuff, so good check to him because, of course, little product can't go wrong. Right, I'm going to take this down to the nether regions of my body. Mm. We'll catch up in a minute, eh? Thank you. Here we are. Finally done the Laurie Lee walk. And now it's time for a drink at the wool pack. And Another long walk to the top of the hill to Bulls Cross. Right. And there's the world pack. In all its tiny glory. That lovely 1970s or 60s font. I've done the walk. Hard work. Hard work. <clears throat> Very hard work my mistakes on some some of the bits but so be it i've had a lovely drink in the wall pack down the bottom superb of course and now i've just sat a stone throw away from the grave of laurie lee now you may ask you may not why is am i going a so concerned about laurie lee He's just a normal West Country lad who made him, his wife made his, made himself through writing, through wit, through hard work and perseverance, a name. But what's most apt in May 1992 when you've got people in Ukraine doing incredibly horrible things to each other and I can see why people went to fight to help Ukraine the same way 
Laurie Lee went, returned to Spain to fight the fascists. Well, one of my heroes, <clears throat> George Orwell, did the same to fight fascists. Sometimes there's more to life than just buying brand new trainers, buying brand new kit, buying all this sort of stuff. And he did it. It was a time when people went out and put their lives in the line for their own beliefs. And that's quite a rare thing these days, but people are doing it. People from all around the world are flocking to help Ukraine. Some are helping Russia because they want the money. But um, that's that. I hope you've had a good journey with me today. Yep, the the Mastins do work, you know, they are value for money. If you're getting into camping, get into going out, hiking, like myself, walking <laughs> till your legs fall off. I'm not finished yet, I've got another mile to go. Um yeah, come out and do it. It's all worthwhile. So here's the, thanks thanks to you. Thanks to Laurie Lee over there. And um, see you again sometime. Cheers, then. Wait, check it, Laurie.